to go where no scrap car has gone before. Rylan. What? Driver's Ed, what's going on? Are you driving terribly? No. Why is there an engine light on? Why is there no gas in your car? Fill up your car, Rylan. Where are we going, Rylan? Soccer practice. <laughs> You're watching Reverse Radical Rides. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Hi. Four o'clock in the morning. Driving down the highway. I want to get a new toy. I uh, bought myself a forklift. Because I want my life to be easier. So, yeah. I'm gonna flash my bright lights at this guy because I also have bright lights, so I'll see you guys later. We are here. Here she is. My new monster. This thing's gonna be awesome. This guy's got an insane garage, by the way. I wish. This is it. Hi, I'm up here. 78 Heister. Is it 150? P150B. This thing's awesome. It, uh, it's got two stage. We're gonna fix some rust on her, clean this thing up. Build a new battery box. Well, it's got a, a cab and everything. It's got a Detroit with a blower. Life's good. It's leaking, so you know there's still oil in it. But yeah, this thing runs pretty good. We're just waiting for Buddy to show up and then uh, grab all the extra stuff. He's got uh, a bunch of uh, filters and stuff. Yeah, this thing's so beastly. And it comes with... 18 foot fork extension so it should be able to pick up cars straight and back and throw it directly on the trailer. I wasn't lying. These are massive. We're gonna pick up cars in no time. We just stopped, everything is good. We're gonna hit the road again. Alright, I just had supper. Let me throw in some cute pics of Isla from playing. But now here's the big dilemma. Like these forks are big and heavy duty, but the actual forks are only four feet long. Now these slip-on forks are massive. They seem to be thick. I'm just wondering if this will pick up a car and a truck. I would love for it to pick up a truck. Front to back so I could throw it on a trailer. So what are we going to do? We're not even going to look it over. We're just going to fucking try this thing. Let's hammer down. Oh, first things first is I'm going to need a cup holder in here. Okay, so this tank is the current fuel tank. I think the other tank is down below what he said it was leaking. So I'm probably going to take it out and fix it up. The other thing I'm going to do is make another plate so that I can cover that up. <gasps> Food. Mm, geese are the best. They taste amazing. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Make a plate, cover that up. There's a heater. What I'm thinking of doing is ditching this seat and getting uh, a small little, little bench so somebody else could ride in here. I'm also going to put a stereo in it. Because, you know, I have a shitload of scrap cars, so we could put a stereo in it. I just want to clean it up and we'll paint it. Make it look nice, nice. I mean, shit. Like, this this unit's pretty solid for what it is. So we'll, uh, we'll cut that out and we'll, we'll fix this up. And I'm going to cut these off. We don't need those little extra mud flaps. They actually, that one bent today. Loading it on the trailer. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, solid unit. Oh, yeah. On the way, the door swung open. This, uh, this little latch here, uh, basically as soon as it bounces, as 
soon as it bounced, it, it opened up on its own. Come on, pop up out of there, you bitch. Hey. You guys could watch me break this. Of course, I won't stand up. There you go. Yeah, broke the window. It broke the window and actually bent the door a little bit. You can see the little wow right there in the frame. So at some point I'll bend that back and put another piece of glass in there. Everything will be fine. But yeah, we're going to paint it up, clean it up. Uh, we've got a Detroit four banger. It's pretty. Sounds good. Um belts need tensioning and tightening up other than that it's not too bad it leaks a little it's got oil in it so i think we can we're good to use it but yeah i'm, I'm pretty pumped about this thing pretty pumped i do want to put a new exhaust nice stainless exhaust that'd be cool i'll tighten that up it's a little sloppy I think one of these belts has to be changed. I'm gonna change them both if I get a chance. Oh, cool, they're on this side of the, the thing so we don't take the drive shaft off for the for the pump down there. That's the only thing that sucks. You know, you get your pulleys down there and your belts, but you have to take the, the shaft off for the uh, hydraulic drive. The other thing we gotta do is reconnect the, uh, the shut off. I think I just disconnected it because it, uh, it would freeze up in the winter. So we're gonna connect that back up so we can shut it off from the inside. But oh, maybe that's the hydraulic tank. I haven't seen the hydraulic tank yet. So, anyways, if that's the fuel tank, we're gonna put it on the outside somewhere back somewhere that uh, is not in the way, and uh, we're gonna have. I'm gonna rebuild these doors because that's a lot of bondo. <laughs> yeah, I wanna clean it up and paint it, but uh, we'll fire it up and take it for a rip. I think it's got enough gas. <laughs> gas. It's got enough fuel in it. Come on. Oh. Actually, there's nice. There's the pump, rattle, all that stuff. Stop it. I'm gonna put some LED lights on it. Oh. Will you start? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Playtime. Right up. 
Yes. Neutral this bitch so I can show you guys. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. This is the best day ever. This is the best fucking day ever. I'm gonna put some air in these tires. Man, it's lifting it up like nothing. Nothing. These forks are so massive. I am so fucking pumped right now. I am so pumped right now. I'm gonna be able to clean up this scrap pile. You guys haven't seen this in a while, but uh, let's just say I've gone overboard. There's, there's a lot of cars here. So, like, all of that's going, and uh, you like you won't see any of this anymore. Uh, man, this, this, this is game changer right here. I'm gonna be able to load these cars onto the trailer without having anybody else to help me. And this is gonna take me like two minutes to put something on the trailer versus how I was doing it before with the loader. So the old heister game changer. That's what that's what we're gonna call her, the game changer. <laughs>